Hi guys, welcome back. Just pulled out the first papaya. And as you can see, it's just rot. Looks like a an alien, doesn't it? So this is the um, solo sunrise. Do not, do not try this one. It's the worst one, as you can see. So I just pulled it out so I can make room for a new tree here. In this circle I dug last summer. So kick the bucket. That's one down. That's the variety there. For folks here in Melbourne, you've been warned. Now this other variety here is still holding okay as far as the trunk is concerned. There's no soft spots anywhere I squeeze. It's pretty hard. The top is, um, well, massacred. Hang on, let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, you can see here there's uh, the potential for some kind of um, growth, right? Not sure. But something's going on in there. See that? So it looks like we're going to have to wait a little longer for this one. And that's the, um, the dwarf torpedo. It's still um, hanging in there. Mind you, I haven't protected these um, papayas all winter. I gave them a... <laughs> the crows are busy today. I gave them a, a cover the first week of uh, winter, back in early June, and that's it. I took the cover off because we had um, three or four days of frost to begin winter with. Can you believe that? Wow, what a start. This one has kicked the bucket too. I think that's um, a solo sunrise as well. Let's check it out. Yeah. It's done a little better. Yep. This is a, uh, a sunrise as well. It's still alive. But uh, it's well on its way to um, papaya heaven, as you can see here. Once you get um, this, and well, that even worse, right here in the middle. It's gone, it's a goner. Next is the, um, I think this is also a, let me have a look. Oh no, this is a Sri Lankan red. Okay, so this is another one I would. This is another one I would recommend, the Sri Lankan red. All around it seems okay, except in the last three, four days, it got its first death sign just now right there in the middle see that right there that's not good and there's one up there too yeah so don't know I don't know guys if this is um, gonna make it or not it's pretty hard except for yeah except here that's a little soft just a little and the top is had it Right, the top is completely had it. So George, why didn't you cover your papayas all winter? Why didn't you give him that extra baby uh, nurturing attention? So to prevent this. You know how many people have asked me that? You won't believe it. Guys, listen. We're not here to, um, for the sake of the fruit. That's not what it's about. This whole experiment was for the, um, the sake of successfully getting papaya through winter unassisted without any um, blankets or boxes or sheets 
or sprays or um, prayers or anything like that. It's like just like this carob here. Can you do what this guy is doing? Yes or no? He's not getting any help from me, nor is that um, pomegranate. Can you do the same, Mr. Papaya? Can you do it? Yes or no? And the answer is no from that one, right? So that we try different varieties. So that's what it's about. It's not about um, succeeding to get fruit at any cost, like put it in the greenhouse in a pot. No, I don't want to put it in the greenhouse in a pot so I can get fruit the following year. I want it to prove itself alone, right? In the middle of the, of the open garden without any assistance um, to get through to um, spring. Yeah, to get through winter. Guys, that's what that's what the experiment was about. So I hope that that's clear, and we understand. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. We'll try again next year. We haven't given up. See you from the next video, guys. Bye bye.